Indoor air quality plays a crucial role in maintaining healthy lungs and overall respiratory health. The air we breathe indoors can often be more polluted than the outdoor air due to various factors like poor ventilation, the presence of allergens, and the use of household products. This pollution can have significant impacts on our lungs, especially for individuals with pre-existing respiratory conditions such as asthma or COPD. And that is the topic of today's video. So, keep watching to learn how your indoor air quality may be impacting your lungs. One of the primary indoor pollutants is particulate matter, which includes dust, pet dander, mold spores, and smoke from cooking or tobacco. These tiny particles can penetrate deep into the lungs, causing inflammation and exacerbating respiratory issues. For people with asthma, exposure to high levels of particulate matter can trigger asthma attacks and lead to more frequent use of rescue inhalers. In the long term, consistent exposure to these pollutants can contribute to the development of chronic bronchitis or other obstructive lung diseases. Volatile organic compounds are another significant contributor to poor indoor air quality. These chemicals are released from household products like paints, cleaning supplies, and air fresheners. Inhalation of VOCs can irritate the respiratory tract, leading to symptoms such as coughing, throat irritation, and shortness of breath. Long-term exposure to high levels of VOCs can increase the risk of developing respiratory infections and has been linked to more severe conditions like lung cancer. Mold is another common indoor pollutant that can adversely affect lung health. Mold thrives in damp, poorly ventilated areas and releases spores into the air. When inhaled, these spores can cause allergic reactions and respiratory issues, particularly in individuals with asthma or weakened immune systems. Chronic exposure to mold can lead to persistent respiratory symptoms and may even contribute to the development of asthma in previously healthy individuals. Poor ventilation in indoor environments exacerbates the problem by trapping pollutants and preventing fresh air from circulating. This can result in higher concentrations of indoor pollutants, making it more likely for individuals to experience respiratory symptoms. Ensuring proper ventilation by opening windows, using exhaust fans, and maintaining HVAC systems can help mitigate these risks by reducing pollutant levels and improving air circulation. Moreover, the use of tobacco products indoors significantly degrades air quality and poses severe risks to lung health. Secondhand smoke contains a multitude of harmful chemicals that can cause respiratory problems, particularly in children and non-smoking adults. Exposure to secondhand smoke increases the risk of developing asthma, bronchitis, and even lung cancer. But as previously mentioned, maintaining good indoor air quality is essential for protecting lung health. Reducing the presence of particulate matter, VOCs, mold, and tobacco smoke along with improving ventilation can significantly decrease the risk of respiratory issues and promote overall well-being. Awareness and proactive measures can help create a healthier indoor environment, leading to better respiratory health for everyone. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.